Hello YouTubers, uh, how are you? Which is the opening gambit to most conversations, I should think. Um, well, I'm, I'm fairly well, thank you. And, um, well, today, uh, because I haven't got anything for a video till I can get out with my camera, I've been going back through some of the early videos uh, when YouTube just uh, started. And uh, would you believe, at that time, I was number one on the... Um, list of users on uh, YouTube and in those days they used to have a page where they listed the uh, all the all the users in the order in which they of their popularity I think and uh, I think in those days I was vying with um, I think somebody named Smosh who was a uh, uh, a young girl who was telling all her troubles and things and uh, we uh, we vied for top spot for quite a long time and uh, then it was discovered that uh, that was all some sort of uh, I don't know fake or something by some company who were uh, doing her stuff for her anyway um, uh, so I look back at some of the early days and some of the early videos that were done way back in, well, 2006. And so uh, this, is, um, this is a blast from the past. And uh, although it's very long, you may not even reach the end. I hope you enjoy. Goodbye. YouTubers. Well, not only not doing it right, not doing it uh, at all, because hey, we were 12 years old and more importantly, we didn't know what the hell it was all about. Um, we'd been told that we'd been found under gooseberry bushes or some such rubbish and whilst that might have been uh, acceptable as a four-year-old, uh, we knew that wasn't right, but um, of course we didn't know what was right. So where did we get our information from? Well, we didn't really. There were no books or magazines or films or anything to tell us. And if our parents weren't going to tell us, which, uh, well, in my case, they didn't. And that wasn't exceptional, I believe, in all cases they that they didn't then we got it from older boys who had got it from older boys etc and uh, some truths came down and uh, a lot of mistruths of course which uh, was quite sad i mean uh, i remember seeing dogs doing it in the street and i thought oh my god that looks like a lot of hard work and uh, they don't seem to be enjoying it very much and then they got locked together and couldn't get apart and I thought yeah I don't think I want to do that anyway but um, the mystery had to be solved as it does with all young people I at school we did have biology lessons and uh, you would have thought that was where we might have been taught it but uh, we didn't do any sort of human um, biology at all. Most of the time we seem to talk about plants and trees and insects and chrysalises and pupae and oh, all that sort of thing. But we did get on to fish one day and that looked a bit more interesting because um, there was a picture of some frog spawn and that was explained that they were they were female eggs and they would be fertilized by the male and uh, then we saw some sort of uh, milky stuff and they thought all right here we go this is good because uh, older boys had um, they had told us about that so uh, we thought yeah this is it and then they then they developed into tadpoles and then they metamorphosed into frogs and um, well that all seemed a bit peculiar uh, but um, at least we were on the right track I thought and uh, then the teacher said he said there in talking about fish and I think tropical fish he said there are hermaphrodites 
and then he had to explain that big word to say that they were uh, fish that were both male and female and then he went on to talk about uh, males that could uh, produce offspring and oh god I thought oh I think I'll give up this is uh, this is no good at all anyway um, enter Althea well who's Althea well Althea was quite a uh, quite a kind girl and um, you have to know that air raid shelters weren't only there to protect us from bombs um, in a way really <laughs> they should have been there to protect us from Althea but uh, Althea devised games which she called doctors and nurses now whether in all the examinations that uh, took place she needed to know about the male uh, anatomy or I don't know maybe she was just a kind girl who uh, who wanted us to know about the female anatomy anyway I, I will gloss over it um, <coughs> embarrassingly by um, well telling you that um, at last uh, we had seen the um, female body parts and um, well I suppose a lot of the mystery was uh, was uh, solved and uh, we could uh, go off and do our things like collecting shrapnel and bits of bombs and uh, bullets and bits of stuff from crashed airplanes and things and uh, far more exciting things but of course the big question was okay so we knew where this baby was going to grow uh, but how the hell was it going to get out and uh, well there were all sorts of stories um, um, like holes being cut and bellies exploding and all sorts of horrible gruesome things and couldn't really see how that could be so and uh, I suppose it was the last mystery of the uh, of the jigsaw I suppose um, children who'd grown up on farms and had seen birth and death uh, from the time of their childhood um, just understood all of these things and they absorbed them and it was perfectly natural and they didn't even have to ask their parents about it but we were more or less townies so uh, we didn't know these things as I said before the nearest I'd seen to anything was uh, was uh, dogs performing but um, uh, anyway that problem was solved by Jimmy and Jimmy was um, one of my father's butcher's delivery boys now I don't remember whether he just worked on a Saturday or whether he was there all time but all the time but he was old he must have been at least 16 but he as far as we were concerned he was old and he was somebody I could ask because he wasn't connected with our gang or group or anything so I didn't need to uh, uh, look uh, silly in front of them and um, but unfortunately um, I asked him at the very wrong time because I don't know why I was with him but we were cycling up the street and he'd got his delivery of parcels of meat uh, in the in the uh, carrier at the front and uh, I was sitting on the crossbar when I asked him the question and um, of course he told me the answer and of course this was so amazing to me that I shouted out the word well you know what the word was and I'm not going to repeat it but it's quite amusing really because I remember uh, at school somebody had written this word on the toilet walls and whilst the headmaster was a very nice and liberal sort of man very kind to us all uh, at one assembly he um, was very serious and uh, he was going to clamp down on any of this sort of graffiti right from the start and he he said somebody has written see you next tuesday on the on the toilet wall and then proceeded to tell us what dire punishments would um, come upon us if uh, anybody was uh, found to do such a terrible thing so i shouted out this uh, shouted out this word in amazement but unfortunately as i did so the um, there was a group of ladies who were close neighbors of, of uh, ours 
who um, who heard it obviously because they they, <laughs> they sort of uh, I don't know what they did jump back in amazement or something so this was a terrible crime because swearing in those days was absolutely something that you was never allowed to do and even a policeman uh, could reprimand you for it and drag you down to report you to your parents so I was I was terribly uh, frightened uh, about this but um, nothing happened actually if they did tell her she didn't do anything and uh, that that didn't matter so there you are the whole mystery was uh, was was solved and um, uh, that's all I can think to tell you really but it's 9:46 so it looks like I'm going to no it's only 8:49 because let's let's close this down in a little more sensible way and and let me say how dreadful I think that situation was and how much better it is today that a there's more availability for young people to get whatever knowledge they want and also uh, that of course it has been brought into the sex education has been brought into the curriculum of all schools and a very good thing but being 9.26 I will have to close I'll see you again very soon and until then goodbye <laughs>